Hello, welcome to h 2 Design Academy and this is a quick tip on using Offset and how Offset compares in Blender to other traditional CAD packages in SketchUp. So we're dealing with a simple master plan of a couple of blocks. So this is in Rhino and we're just offsetting these to create sidewalks or pavements. Then looking at it in AutoCAD, it, in the same manner, if we just offset these, it works in the exact same fashion except a small mistake when the file was imported if you can spot it in the middle block there should be a continuity which for some reason didn't come true now looking at the same file now in draft side again if we select all the blocks and we offset them no problems whatsoever and now looking at it in SketchUp again everything offsets pretty much in the exact same way like in the previous cat packages shown now let's look at Blender. So first we need to do a bit of cleanup to create faces from the lines. And once we create faces, I first try the inset tool, which in a way can also do offset, because it basically insets or outsets in whichever direction you do the lines. But there are some issues, and the issues are in the corners. I mean, we have other issues as well, which are the faces, which you can see in this central element there. Uh, but the major issue is that when there's a lot of vertices in, for example, chamfered corners or rounded corners, and they're being offset, the algorithms in all the other programs, they take into account that when those vertices reach a certain limit and they start to converge in the opposite direction, that they should be combined into one vertex. Whereas in Blender, that doesn't occur. It also happens with the offset add-on which I use quite often and this second set of lines here they're produced with the offset add-on and as you can see they produce the exact same result which then requires an extensive cleanup so if you have a chance and you need to pr offset precise geometry instead of fighting with it in Blender for the time being I recommend you use something like AutoCAD, Rhino, DriveSight or SketchUp to get your lines and then just import them into Blender Thank you and have a good day and see you next time.